Truckers XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Welcome back to another episode of 13 Sentinels Angels Room. In the previous episode, we completed a second Gaharas today. We're going to finish up Renya Gotos. If you're happy today's episode, make sure that like button and support is greatly appreciated to the channel. That's where I keep on moving. This data is. Is that you, Goto? It's been a while. The last time I saw you was two months before my death. Roughly a year ago, I think. Chairman Ogata? An AI construct based on Chairman Kenvo Ogata. Why would this be in Morimura's files? I see. So this is how she managed to raise all those funds. She must have used this AI to access the Shikishima Chairman's hidden network. Not quite. I'm afraid that was originally my idea. The good Professor Morimura was only following my orders. So all of this was by design? Your design? Leaking the prototype nanomachinery to the black market? The catastrophic consequences? You're the one who exploited her. If you blame anyone, blame yourself. We were so close to losing Project Ark entirely. Now we must prioritize the project above all else. I'll finally have my second chance at life. You were planning on downloading yourself into a clone. A brave new Earth is waiting for me. I won't let you do this. What is Professor Morimura doing now? She's dead. By that hitman's hands, I presume. That's humanity. Self-destructive to the very end. Only a few survivors left now. I give them three days at most. My deepest condolences for your imminent death. Shut up, Construct. Your project is over. Unfortunately for you, the Ark is already set off. It's still within comms range. You don't have clearance. I refuse to let an AI control the future of humanity. Not of the survivors. The ones who would have clearance. So, suppose I am the professor. Then what? I want to know the truth. I want to know the reasons behind all of this. But that seems unlikely. I imagine you're not inclined to tell me anything. And why's that? It'd be inconvenient for you if we had all the facts. Considering you're trying to eliminate us. <sighs> From the very beginning, you never intended for this world to survive. You think I'm trying to destroy the world? I do. So you think I'm enabling the kaiju now? Even though I've got more reason to hate them than any of you? That is true, at least. You're clearly not on the kaiju's side. After all, they are a threat to your primary objective. Which would be to carry out the plan you formed in 2188. However, that plan may now be untenable. The situation has deviated too drastically. <sighs> Recall when I brought you to the underground UFO. I believe you said something like... It was out of your hands. If Operation Aegis succeeds, a world reset will no longer be possible. This operation goes against Professor Morimura's agenda. She will stop at nothing to prevent it. This refers to the humans who can control the UFO's mainframe. Those compatible have nanomachines implanted in their bodies. 
Three months prior to the Newman Inc. incident, Newman was acquired by the conglomerate Shikishima. With these interlocutors, apparently some kind of nanomachine information technology, they've become one of the world's top megacorps. Frame of the UFO? Yes. Honestly, Okino-kun, you can't take anything else in life seriously. So why do you put so much time into all this? <sighs> Okino. Just talking to myself. More importantly, look at this mess. Something unpleasant must have happened here. Most likely. Shikishima Android. Probably left here by Ida-san. They've all been shot. External damage suggests the weapon was a phaser. They're all out of commission. Too damaged to function. I see. Let's get started, then. Is it really possible? I have a fairly comprehensive grasp of this system. This abnormality all comes down to the deep code, right? I should be able to get rid of it. Why would Miss Morimura push for Operation Aegis if this was an option all along? Well, you said it yourself. She's either being controlled by someone, or she could be trying to save herself. That's not right. Hold on. That file system hadn't even been analyzed yet. How did you gain access? I have a senior admin ID. Access privileges for the entire system. You somehow got access to an account that high level? Yes. I have my ways. This is no good. Sector 3's mainframe has been damaged in an attack. It's barely operational. I won't be able to process much here. Well, not much choice. I'll have to send direct instructions to the command ship. Command ship? The mothership in orbit. It can send commands directly to the UFO. Is it? An arc? Some grand design from the people of the future? Either that or a base of operations for an alien invasion. The comms channel to the command ship is cut off. Must be hiding somewhere beyond the horizon. Looks like about 35 minutes until the comms reconnect. But we don't have that long. Time to find another link. Will this fix cut off the Kaiju's attacks? It should be able to solve the problem at its core. However, we can't stop any commands that were already processed. That's out of my hands. Which means... We'll still have to deal with the kaiju already generated. We don't know how many the factories have produced. If we could just verify their numbers... Hmm... We're going to need the Sentinels after all. That may be best. Operation Aegis is too much of a risk. In other words, the decode's activation is a blow you cannot recover from. No matter how you try to fix it, your plan is irreversibly impacted. The most direct fix would be eliminating the decode. Then, you would just restart the loop anew. In order to trigger a loop, you need them to destroy all the Sector's mainframes. And therein lies your goal. You want this world destroyed so the timeline can be reset. 
but you have one major obstacle. And that's Operation Aegis. Aegis isn't just an ordinary defense system. It causes a terminal to seal itself off in self-defense, preventing anyone from using it to control the world. Once all the terminals are sealed off, we'll be severed from the mainframe, effectively preventing any further loop or extinction. <sighs> but if that happens, your plan is null and void. We'd be stuck in a loop where your goal was impossible. Let's backtrack a little bit. We discussed the suspect of Miss Morimura's murder, and you asked me who I think did it. If you actually are Professor Chihiro Morimura, then I believe you personally murdered Miss Morimura. Did I now? She was a staunch advocate of Operation Aegis, a thorn in your side. Someone in the way of your reset. An interesting theory, if also an incorrect one. Believe me, I understand why you'd view me with hostility. Certainly Renya Goto was responsible for chasing you out of Newman. Even if it was on Chikishima's behalf, a buyer simply eliminating liabilities. After that, you took the lead on Project Ark, under Kengo Ogata's oversight. Kengo Ogata, of course, being Nenji Ogata's father, and Shikishima's chairman, who recognized your talent. He passed away in 2187. His age caught up with him. But the other Kengo Ogata is perhaps more relevant. The one you created after his death using his memories. An AI construct. You were letting it control you. I was just getting advice. Dug that out of a log, too? Yes. Renya Goto found that AI. The log was recorded in the colony after your death. Once your clone reaches 18 years of age, you set it so that she'd download your memories. It's clear this project was not a selfish endeavor. I'm sure you felt a sense of duty to save humanity. But you were also trying to bring Kengo Ogata back to life. So Professor Morimura takes over Chihiro Morimura's clone. And presumably, Kengo Ogata would take over Nenji Ogata's clone. That's why you're so intent on sticking to the plan. Presumably, the father takes over his son, but the son, I think he maintained himself, no? But yeah, pretty much, uh, let's get back to it. Certainly, from your perspective, Miss Murimura was expendable. She had to die. Her very survival endangered your ultimate goal. Well, that is a shame. This isn't ideal, but you know too much. Goodbye. Q E D E D. Unlock when we're over over twelve. I'm gonna assume this is like the final final part if we're at eighty seven. So let's get on going. I mean eighty five. Right, let's go. Initiating meta skill analysis. This shouldn't take too long. I'll send you the data once it's ready. Uh, that would be great. But I must say, this is a surprise. Okino kun really managed to push this through? Integrating this half coded thing into the control system? Thank you. <gasps> no, well. Okino wanted to tell you that. Thank you. Okino-kun said that? He said the analysis wasn't complete yet. So he appreciates your help with all this. I see. To look at you 
anyone might think you were just a child. But you must be a truly exceptional individual. The message was Okinos, and I'd like you to know I'm grateful as well. Now if you'll excuse me, I must return to the battle. <laughs> that boy. So he appreciates me, does he? This isn't ideal, but you know too much. Goodbye. <laughs> you cannot shoot me with that gun. So anyone who knows the truth of Aegis is a liability to you. And liabilities must be dealt with. Does that sum it up? If you recall, I specifically acquired this gun for your purposes. You had concerns about self-defense. I can guess what happens next. Now you're going to use it to shoot me. Perhaps I wasn't clear. For safety reasons, neither one of us can be shot with this gun. I configured it very specifically. As I suspected, this gun records the time of its last discharge. And that time looks to be a near match for Miss Morimura's estimated time of death. Which suggests... You use this gun to murder her. Now, on the day of the crime, you yourself were using the drone to keep tabs on Miss Morimura, weren't you? Based off of your expenses for that day, I presume you took a taxi to the crime scene. How much do you have in that pocketbook? Were you just playing dumb this whole time? When did you realize? What gave away that I was the professor and not her? There was a specific moment. It was back when Miura found you here. You described Miura as an excellent design engineer. But the Miura of 2188 was the design engineer, not him. Did you dig that out of Renya Goto's log too? No. That I learned through Miura, the AI of Sentinel number 17. He also told me about the existence of the logs. So, what happens to me now? If you're not killing me, I assume you're at least locking me up? Considering what you did to Miss Morimura, I'm admittedly conflicted. But giving into my emotional reaction wouldn't solve anything. Vengeance isn't going to bring her back. So, with that in mind, I would rather choose the path that gets me closer to the truth. That is what I want now. To see what lies at the end of all this. To see what she never could. You told an obvious lie. You made it clear Juro Izumi was not your... cup of tea. Yet you and Izumi shared an intimate relationship in the year 2188. That was clear enough from all the evidence I found. Even the placement seemed intentional. You and Izumi, together in Sector 1. You died before you could set up the memory transplant. At that point, I can only assume, Izumi sympathized with you and helped carry out your vision. I can certainly understand Kengo Ogata's motive. He just wants to live again. But you, why are you so intent on transplanting your memory? Because there has to be a leader. Without someone to guide them, teams dissolve into fear, spite, resentment. It'd be the colony all over again. Hmm. I see. As I suspected. Your devotion to this goal is inspiring, in some ways. <sighs> Are you a gambling woman? I'd like to propose a bet. 
will leave the terminals alone for you. We won't let Aegis seal everything off. Your loop would still be viable. And in exchange? As it currently stands, it'd be impossible to revert to your original plan without some compromise. But consider this. Even this final phase won't truly be the end. We'll have plenty of struggles beyond it. Plenty more pain ahead of us. If we can prove to you that we will overcome that, if we prove to you that we can face the unknown, then are we not worthy to take up your cause, inheriting your goal, and seeing it through? You make an interesting point. We can solve this problem ourselves. So my proposal is this. Let us fight our war. No sabotage. If we fail, then I could hardly object to a reset anyway. That's your bet? You don't stand a chance. Well, I suppose we'll see about that. when I revise the decode. Right now, we need that shortcut. And this is where you reveal some new leverage over me. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what log you found this time. No. This time, I'm asking a favor. <laughs> you have to be joking. You do realize the position I'm already in? I do. lie I'm talking about? Not this time. When I said I wasn't going to like you. Oh. You're an infuriating man, Renya Goto. Chihiro-san. Ready? Everyone, listen to me. We can communicate with the command ship out of range. I'm realigning the three surveillance satellites to their relay positions. We should be connected soon. However, the satellites have to move outside their preset tracks. They'll enter the gravity well and plummet to Earth. Your connection will only last until they hit the surface. You'll barely have any time to do this. Am I clear? Thank you. Honestly, humans can be so irrational. Though, I guess might be the most irrational one here. If you actually manage to pull this off, then I expect you all to take responsibility. Chihiro. Good luck, big brother. Almost 
disconnected. This is your only chance. Initiating communication. All right, I'm assuming that's like where we left off. Where we left off in the battle. We were down to like, we were down to like three, three left. So the next episode will begin the, the final three of area three. So like, comment, subscribe, share, cause like, see me now, I'm signing out.